Welcome to Small Lathe. Okay, the part according to specs needs to be 52 millimeters long. So, well, we've got plenty. We're 56 almost. So, that's good. The internal hole should be 4 millimeters and we're like way above that. 5.5 millimeters. So, we need to turn it down considerably. It's also off center. I can see like there's a, about 3 millimeters here and about 2 millimeters there. So his, uh, his, his uh, lathe was a bit off. Okay, we're getting close to the edge. But it'll require me to remove a bit too much material, I think. Let's try and uh, see where we're at now. You can actually see the hole is still sort of not exactly very centered. If I take my ruler, I've got still like three, four millimeters over here and around, meh, almost four over here. So we may I mean, yeah, possibly be able to do something about that. We're at uh, 52. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, we're definitely in a, in a sort of a problem with this one. Uh, we're at 52 and the drawing calls for a 52 millimeter <laughs> uh, total length. So we're at 52 uh, and a half. Let's, let's measure that properly. 52 and a half. I still have to face this one. Okay. I've got a serious problem. If I try to center, this, this whole thing is going to go bye-bye. I can actually see it go way, way off center as we speak. What do we do? We have to cheat. This is a 4 millimeter high-speed steel 4x6, meaning the diameter is 4, the entire flute length is 6. And we're going to use that instead of a drill. Uh, this has a much more solid shank, a very, very small flute, so it will not wander off. And actually, this will force a very true hole, 4mm hole, on my part. So. I'm going to try and hold it as close as possible because I want the system to be as rigid as possible. We are locked and let's see how we do that. Interesting thing. Now we still have some irregularity here, but this part is going to be uh, this thing and it's going to be clamped inside of a tube so who cares there's no specific specs for this except for four millimeter hole that's centered we've got a four millimeter hole it's now flat I can use my uh, countersink bit and it's going to hit a flat surface which is four millimeter in diameter it's going to be perfect for our needs Touching base.
Right, so this part is virtually done. I could drill it now, but I'd rather finish the head and then drill it. It's going to be a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to leave enough flat area on the head to get the finished part here, which is right here. So this is flat enough so the jaws can handle it, and then you get it true enough and you can drill right through. So that's what we're going to do here. Next up, uh, we need a 2 millimeter flange that's 12 millimeter diameter. A bit over 12, it's like 12.5. In this case, and that's the stock I got from him, he turned it to 12. This is 11.25, that's going to be okay. This is so I'm just going to remove about 0 0.01 millimeters. And that's all I need there, which is this thing, the edge. So that's fine with me. And now we need to work on the head. So, whew, wow, that's way past midnight now. And I've got a day job too, you know. So, um, we're going to stop here. Okay, let's just face it off before we go. now is to turn this to a more or less straight angle a slight and now we need to turn this cavity here and the head We get to 10. 10.05. I'm definitely taking it. So the head size now is, we removed quite a bit of material, 11. So we're at 11 times 11, basically speaking. We're at 11.1 11 .1 times 11.1. .1. But that is nice. Okay. So one part done, except for the hole. Okay, let's uh, protect our brass. And put it back in the chalk. This is not exactly an ideal way to hold your material. But do remember two things. A, we're going to apply force only one way. Not on the side, so there's no tilting forces. B. See that? That's running nice and true. Now we can lock it. And we've got our four millimeter diameter drill bit, and I always verify. So this is 393. Oh, uh, how far do we drill? Well, we're going to drill up to the tape, basically speaking.
So you can see where their original groove was. We didn't drill there, we went dead center. So we have a cavity, and uh, this is part two, along with part one, which is right over here. So we got two parts now. This has a bit of a longer head. This is a shorter head. Uh, I guess we could trim them a bit closer to spot spec, but this is smaller diameter. This is 11 and this is 12. So I've been trying my best to get these as symmetrical as possible. Okay, we're at the very oddball setup, and uh, I'm gonna add some pictures here of the setup from different angles. But as you can see. It's going to be a very, very repetitive project. Tighten the jack. And the jack is just a, a piece of uh, brass I had already in my uh, mounting kit you can see chuck marks there and an m6 screw i did put some hot melt because i wanted it soft and there's an aluminum cover there just to prevent scratches and allow the whole thing to rotate so let's undo that and get to 180 degrees